Good morning, everybody. How are you? Um, everybody's doing good, I hope. Uh, today is Thursday. I can't believe that this time last week I was down in Florida. <laughs> but I guess everybody goes through that. I mean, we do it every year anyway in September. So, um, to recap, the last three videos that I have, thank you for watching who's ever watching. Thank you for liking who's ever liking. I now have, I think, 78 subscribers. I love it. I'm going to try and post out more videos um, with some more information. Um, today I'd like to discuss something, though, and I, had, I didn't discuss it with the last three videos, but it's been irking me. Um, how many of you actually, you know, I know Disney is magical. I've been going down there with my husband going on 22 years, okay? Maybe a little bit longer than that, but since 1994. Okay. We've seen things come and go. We've seen things be built. We've seen things be taken down. We've seen things be rebuilt, um, refurbished, remodeled. You know, anyhow. How many people can actually say that when they came back from their trip, there was a few things that really weren't up to par? Let's be honest. How many of you are honest? How many of you actually take advantage of the, after you come back from your trip, the Disney survey? And how did we do? And was your vacation magical? Okay. All in all, this was a short trip that my husband and myself did. We know this. It was a, we left Tuesday morning. We got there. 8.30 in the morning. We left Friday morning at I think it was like 3.30 a.m. So we didn't have that Friday day. Okay, fine. So it's Tuesday. We got down there. We had the whole day Tuesday, whole day Wednesday, whole day Thursday. So it's like three days. Okay. That's why I call it a minication. First Christmas trip and everything. Okay, this was the very first time, however, we did stay at Art of Animation. Now, I specified in the... Excuse me. I specified in the beginning of the... The first video that I did, if you roll that back, there was certain situations with my baggage. I only had one bag and one camera bag. That's it. We also missed our fast passes for Magic Kingdom. We were going to meet Cinderella and the other princess at Princess Hall. We had to actually miss that because our room wasn't ready. Okay, we did get there at 8.30 in the morning. Granted, there probably is no rooms. The whole building had no rooms. Okay. We missed the fast passes. We did manage to get a room with the king size bed that I wanted. I w at that point, like I said, I would have took it. I would have taken anything. Um, the cast member, however, did not mention, and I really didn't see it outside the art of animation. I'm sure they do have it, but it really wasn't advertised like the Pop Century is and every other resort is. When you go there, sometimes you can leave your bags with the concierge. I was willing to do that. I didn't see any concierge. I didn't see any desk. And the desk, if it was there, it was like with toys and everything for the children to play outside. But then again, it was too cold outside. All right, anyway. Never once did the cast member ever say, you know, well, oh, I'm so sorry. You, you know, I says, you know what? I'm missing my day. I'm supposed to be at the Magic Kingdom right now with Fast Passes. He never once mentioned, you know what? If you feel like, you know, if you want to leave, they'll email your room on your phone. And, you know, if you want to leave your bags with the concierge, that's fine. I didn't see any concierge, and I was never off it. That's one. Okay. Like I said, um, we now live in a world where, you know, high security at airports. I'm kind of glad, although I've traveled Amtrak for over 20 years of my life, um, and I'll explain that later on. I, I've already specified I have any problem. Okay, fine. Amtrak had, right now has their own situation going on, and I will explain that in another video. Um, the thing is with Disney and the security at the airports is fine. It's all fine. I was kind of grateful, like, because every September when I go down there, all the rooms are renovated now, and you don't have... You don't have to bring soap or shampoo if you don't want to. I was grateful to say, you know what, this is a short trip. Thank God I don't have to. I just have to bring my toothbrush and toothpaste. You know, I get down there to the Art of Animation, first time ever, staying at Building 9. Building 9 is way down yonder for other people who've stayed there. 
Now, you know damn well that that's a walk between the room and the lobby, the lobby back to the room. Had numerous problems with this. The thing was, I get there, good, I don't even unpack because it's a three-day thing. I live out of the suitcase. I go into the, sh you know, into the bathroom. I go into the shower, pull back the shower curtain, which, by the way, the room is very outdated. It's the original room. Same carpeting, same decor on the walls. None of it's renovated. So it's not like the new renovations at Pop Century or, you know, the all-star resorts have just been renovated also. I've stayed there as well. Um, I pull back the shower curtain. There's no shower dispenser. There's no soap dispenser. There's no shampoo, conditioner, body wash. Oh, my God. I didn't even bring a bar of soap. What they did leave you was two bars, you know, of the original soaps. They give you that facial soap and the bad soap. I got news for you. That's the same friggin' soap, both of them. So one says face, one says it. It doesn't matter. It's still the same soap. And they gave me one tube of the shampoo and one tube of the conditioner. Okay. We worked with what we had. All right. Uh, I was a little disappointed with that. Not just to mention that the room was way down yonder. My husband, uh, we got back from the park one night, for instance. My husband refused to let me go back out because I wanted a cup of coffee. There ain't no coffee makers in that room either. I'm, you know, these things are... The little things that seem like to be like such the necessities now, I enjoy them. I, I'd be honest with you, I'd be honest with you. I wasn't crazy about the soap dispenser when I first seen it, if, you know, two years back. I like it now because this way I don't have to drag so many things with me in my, in my luggage through security. You know, the liquids nowadays, it's, you know, it's a pain in the butt. And my husband says, no, you, you know, I'm not, you know, it's dark out. By that time it was like, 10 30 11 o'clock at night my husband said i'm not letting you walk all the way to the to the lobby and then all the way back it's you know i can understand his point on that that's a caring that's a caring person right there thank goodness so when disney i got home my husband and i were discussing this and we get home and here comes the survey you know how did we do I'm not going to be nasty. I actually was honest and I wrote out what was wrong within an hour from the team. The general manager of Art of Animation calls me. I, I see the phone call. First of all, I see the phone call that says Pop Century. I'm all, I'm go, I go to Pop Century every year. I go, I'm going again in September, but I see Pop Century. I figured maybe something's wrong with my reservation in September, so I answer it. We had a lovely conversation, make a long story short, laid it all out on the line. And, um, you know, they, they tried to make it right. And he, he, he will make it right. We had, a, like I said, we had a lovely conversation. And uh, for September, you know, we, yeah, I'm... I would like to be there, you know, if you could just let me know in September when your trip is, I would like to make it magical for you. You know, we'll, I'll do something special. And I, that was, that was good enough, you know, and, I, and they cared, you know, so that was pretty cool that they actually listened. This video is running eight minutes, so I'm going to try and make this a little bit easier. Um, second order of business, photo pass pictures. I buy the memory maker. It's only three days. I have over 150. 50 some odd pictures. They all came out great. It was a nice memory to have. We never did Christmas before. Um, I go, I'm wondering why on my phone, I go to activate the pictures. They're activated. They're open. The watermark is now gone. The photo pass walk is, uh, okay, fine. There's no edit button. I'm looking at that and I'm saying, gee, that's weird. Maybe there's something wrong. Maybe there's a glitch. Okay, I'll try later. We get home and I go on my computer. My husband's computer is an Apple. I have a Windows. I'm a Windows person. He's an Apple person. I can't stand Apple. I don't like iPhones. Never owned one. Don't care to own one. I am an Android, Samsung, Windows person, Google all the way. Okay, now that I got that out. Go on the computer, 
The pictures are now activated. There's still no edit button. There's a save button. I'm sorry, there's a download button, a share button, and a delete button. That's the only three buttons. Okay. I go to call them. Your call time is very valuable to us. <laughs> um, we will answer your call within 30 minutes. I could have ordered a Domino's pizza. The damn pizza would have been at the house faster. Okay, fine. Okay, 27 minutes, 28 minutes, 29 minutes, 31 minutes. Somebody's on the phone. I'm on the computer. I says, listen, I can't download. Number one, I couldn't download my pictures. It kept giving me that Wreck-It Ralph thing. Okay, fine. She straightened that out with me because we had our pop-up blocker um, on. Okay, fine. I mean, security is all the rage nowadays. Fine. That's fine. She got that straightened out. Now, here's the answer for the reason why you can't edit any of your photos. Now, editing, for anybody who doesn't have photo, uh, photo pass or memory maker, you know, you, you take your pictures, you bought your pictures already, you want to edit them with special things, put the little Mickey Mouses, the little year, you know, they give you, um, they give you tools to use to edit your pictures, you know, if you want to print them out, whatever. There is no edit button, so the woman explained to me, get ready for this. You can only edit pictures. When they updated, they updated for iPhones. I says, excuse me, back up. I don't have an iPhone. I have an Android. She says, uh-oh. Do you know anybody with an iPhone? I said, my husband has an iPhone. She says, okay, sign on to your account from his phone. Now, he wasn't activated. I was the only photo pass holder, even though he can scan his magic band at the parks and, and get the pictures. He can't activate them from his phone app. But yet, I sign on to my account from his phone, on his phone, there's the edit button. I says, what the hell is this? She says, no, we only do it for Apple iPhone. I says, well, here's the thing. I have an Apple iMac computer. She says, no, it's not even for the computer. It's just for iPhone. What the f... You gotta be kidding me. Come on, Disney, stop it. Stop it. This is ridiculous. I don't, oh, not everybody, and I explained, I went off. I said, not everybody in the country owns a an iPhone. This is ridiculous. This is discriminating to people who own an Android. I'm not running out buying a damn iPhone just for your, just for your convenience to make your lives easier. And I said, and while we're at it, I can't even buy a phone case from you people because it's all, it's all for iPhone. Otterbox, who I happen to love, Otterbox only sells for iPhones, the Disney cases. This is like so discriminating. So of course this morning, I went on the feedbacks for PhotoPass. So I hit them with that one. It's absolutely an outrage. It, who else, you know, I mean, for all you iPhone, yeah, well, yeah, wonderful. whoop de doo You get to do a lot more shit with your phone. Us Android people are still sitting there sucking wind. It's ridiculous. I'm very upset over it. I really am. Okay, now, whoever has an iPhone, whoever has it, if you didn't know that, you're going to know it. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not rocket science. But don't don't sit there and tell me that you have, oh, I have an Android. I have an, I have an app. Uh, I, my, my phone works. It doesn't work. It's impossible. She just told me. Okay, it's only for, for iPhone. That can edit the pictures from, from, an, from an iPhone app on the phone. You can't even do it on the computer. You spend a hundred, well, I spend $169 because I prepay for mine. I don't do the 199 Forget it. I would have went off the rails if I had to pay full price $199 and, and not be able to do what I want to do with it from my own phone. It's sad. Okay. Whoever has a Primark store, they have some nice things at Primark. And uh, let me tell you something. With Disney was good, but always I've always said with the merchandise with Disney, it's... You know, I worked for the company, I don't mean to say that, but I worked for the company in 2002. I worked for the big Disney store on Fifth Avenue when it was the flagship store. Okay, they now hightailed it down to Times Square. Horrible store. I walked in, it broke my heart years ago. Okay, now that I got that out of the way, let's go over to Primark. Primark store, I have a Primark store here near me in New York. There is also a Primark store in Brooklyn that I found out, and there's one in Staten Island. Okay. 
Primark has such cute Disney stuff. So I picked up this bag in honor of the day after I leave Disney World, in honor of because the Bell Bronze lounge fly bag, the ears, the hat, the, the jersey, the leggings, all that came out the day after I left. Okay. I, I'm still undecided yet about that bag. It's cute. Some people mentioned that that would have been an awesome bag um, in honor of Animal Kingdom. Because it's bronze, it's the black and the gold. It, it really does. Um, kind of resembles leopard print, but it's not. It's the sequins. Anyway, check it out if you, if you have it. Disney Shop, uh, Shop Disney Online has it. So anyway, in honor of that bag, I go to Primark. <laughs> and I purchase this bag. And this bag is so cute. I know, you probably can't see it too good from here, but anyway. Let me see if I can put my other light on. Let me see if I can do that. It's a little better. Okay, that's a little better. So it has the zipper front. There's no pockets on the side. And it has the zipper on the top. There's no, nothing fancy in it. Nothing fancy, just the airbag. <laughs> it comes with an airbag. Um, and it's nice. It's a cute It's a cute little backpack. And there's the back of it. Adorable. Adorable little embossing. And I want to tell you something. Prime markers. They also have the big travel bag in this. So you may want to get both. I think that's $24, $24.95. This bag alone is only $18. That's a Disney licensed product, as you can see. I know my camera's backwards. And it is $18. So I got that. I went Primark shopping. I love Primark. Please, get yourself some nice things at Primark. They have a lot of Disney stuff. They have pajamas. They have shirts. Like I said, I do better there than I do at Disney. And I managed to save some of my spending money. And I came up here and did that. Okay. Now, being that Star Wars craze is happening, Primark has some awesome shirts. I picked myself up two of these in honor of the the Rise of Skywalker. It's a great shirt. And here's the back of it. I know it's backwards. It's my camera. Anyway, it's kind of a silky, see-through kind of thin material. I like because I wear a, I wear a white camo underneath it or a white tank top. But anyway, that's that shirt. And it's great. It's got nice insignias on the side. <laughs> the first order. <laughs> Love it. Okay. I got that one in white. And then they had another one. And I purchased this one because I love this one too. And that's the whole shirt. <laughs> and that's just the back of it here. It's see-through also. So, again, they're all licensed products, obviously. Okay, these Primark shirts. You go down to, you go down to Disney, you're paying, my husband paid $35. All right, I pay 12 bucks. I know the video's backwards. <laughs> yeah, it's 12 bucks. So each shirt was $12, and the backpack was 18 And I think I did damn good. Anyway, people, I'm going to say goodbye. I'll probably have another video soon um, for you people. Hope you're doing your Christmas shopping, and I hope your Christmas shopping is over because we ain't got too far now for Christmas. All right, people. Just wanted to clear that up and get out those reviews and you know let me know what you think have you ever had situations where you actually had to write the company and say hey you know i'm not happy i'm not happy i'm just i'm just not happy especially that iphone thing it's like <clears throat> you gotta be kidding me okay love to all happy thursday have a great day hope to hear from you bye bye